Peldroid byw nawr rhwng mynywod Wrecsam a mynywod Abertawe ac mae sylweber Saesneg ar gael ar y bottom coch. English language commentary is available for this afternoon's match. If you're on a Sky Plus, a free view of Virgin Media box, use the red button. If you're on a TiVo or Sky Q box, go to the settings and use the audio selection option. Any problems, please contact our viewers hotline. Fel arall, win hewch y gym. <laughs> Hanes Newydd, mae'r stori Hollywood yn parhau wrth i glwb pêl drod merched Wrecsam. Ddychwelyd i'r haen uchaf yng Nghymru am y tro cyntaf ers 2015. Yr her gyntaf i'r dreigiau, gêm gartref yn erbyn un o'r clybiau mwyaf llwyddiannus yn hanes y gyngrair hon. Croeso i'r graig cartref newydd merched Wrecsam wrth iddyn nhw wynebu abertawe yn ei gêm agoriadol y tymor yma. Mae'n fyw ar S. Pedwarec gyda'r gic gyntaf ym mhen rhyw gwartyr awr i'r croeso mawr ato ni. Mae'n braf iawn cael eich cwmni chi ac mae'n braf iawn cael cwmni Gwenan Harris o'r gyfer hon a Gwenan mae'n adimlad eleni o ran y clybiau a'r chwareiwyr bod y gyngrair yma yn mynd i godi i lefel gwbl newydd eleni ac am gêm i ddechrau'r holl beth. Ie, yeah, fi'n cyffroesio. A fi gofal fi'n gweud yn rhan pob tam. Ond o ran y ffordd mae ma lot o tîm oedd ti cryfhau dros y haf, rai yn dechrau talu nawr. Mm. Uh, Rex am y dod lan, am y tro ma lot o sŵn gyda nhw hefyd, a mae hwn yn gym wych i ddechrau. Dau tîm am y sodol iawn, edrych ymlaen i gweld mae'r strwythyr y ddau tîm pan yma. A mae'na bwysau ar y ddau tîm, ond bwysau gwahanol iawn. Bydd abert awe, mae'n profi pwynt ar ôl y tymor siomedig, geith o nhw llynedd, a wedyn ni bydd Rex am yn sicr mae'n creu argraff yn gynnar iawn. Ie, yeah, fi creu disgwyliadau gwahanol. So disgwyliadau mm. ar y ddau clwb, ond mewn ffordd gwahanol. So ran abert awe, mae hanes arbennig yr nhw, mae nhw'n dweud ennill gyngrau chwech gwaith, gyda nhw tymor rhy siomedig o ran safon a'i nhw llynedd. Mm. Ble wedyn gyda Rex am, mae disgwyliadau i chelan yn nhw, maen nhw wedi dechrau talu llwyth o chwareiwyr, maen nhw dod lan, fel wedi'n si, lot o sŵn o gwmpas nhw, mm. sut maen nhw'n mynd i ymdopi. Ydyn nhw'n mynd i wneud y cam mewn i'r, i'r pedwar uchaf, fel fi'n credu fi ddydd disgwyliadau arn yn nhw, a sut maen nhw'n ymdopi yn gyffredinol i'r gyngrair. Yn bendant. Wel, dyma yw gym ôl ar diwrnod o'r penwthnos a goriadol, a gwenna'n mae yna lot o goliau wedi bod ar y diwrnod cyntaf. Ie, yeah, joi o gweld hynna'n fel uh, blaenod, ond... Falle seintiau, falle dark horses, mae lot o pobl wedi bod yn gweud, ond ni'n gweud falle y cynlyniad fwy o annisgwyl fyna i'w abryswith yn erbyn y bari. Bari eto wedi dechrau talu rhai'r chwareiwyr, mae'n dweud o ffordd wy'n newydd mewn, ond rili joi o'r gweld abryswith fyna. Dwi'n maen nhw'n anodd iawn i Ciro, mm. um, a nhwedig pan maen nhw'n parc afnyw, maen nhw'n wneud yna yn gartref rili, rili gryf oedd nhw. So happy si iawn i gweld nhw'n cael dechreuad gadarn. Ie, mae'n mynd i fod yn dymor gystadleol rhwng y clybiau yma. Wel, mae'n ddiwnod enfawr i Rexham, sgwn ni siwrd mae'r reolwr yn tymlo. Nic i John, sydd wedi bod yn siarad gyda Steve Dale. O oh, Steve, finally the big day is here. The first game at the top flight for this club since 2015. How excited are you and the girls at this point? Yeah, it's been a long time coming, uh, especially o- over the pre-season and things like that. Everything's been building up to today. Uh, you know, we're really excited and... What better way to obviously host Swansea, who are a well-established side and, you know, obviously going to cause us quite a few problems. But, you know, it's something that we, we're excited to be uh, a part of because we want to test ourselves against the best teams in the country and Swansea are going to be one of them. Now, both yourselves and Swansea, as well as Cardiff City, have made great strides forward in terms of moving towards becoming semi-pro over the summer. What do you think that says about the state of the women's game here in Wales at the moment? It's obviously going to be a promising thing because, you know, we obviously want to improve the standard uh, of players, the coaches, the whole setup of of Welsh women's football and and what the three clubs have done is, you know, obviously a step in the right direction and hopefully more, more clubs will be able to be in that position to follow suit. 
you stormed your season last time out. It's a step up this year, I think it's fair to say. What kind of challenge are you expecting from a well-established Swansea side this afternoon? As you said, you know, last season's done now. You know, we can't hang off off the back of that. It's it's really important that we're, you know, we're not going to be naive. We know it's going to be a, a tough challenge. Um, probably won't have as much of the ball as what we'd like to. So we're going to obviously have to be more organised and, and switched on defensively. But... You know we're we're in this position because we've earned the right to be here. So it's important that when we do get that opportunity in the game, that we we show everyone what we can do with the ball. Steve Dijkenbauer, enjoy this afternoon. Great sir. Yeah, go on. Salute to all of us. Can Steve, but Rex, I'm Philly Bod and naive pronoun. A bit incredibly, I'm going to get your thunder. You created my my savour and I'm looking many guesca. I partnered with a couple of weeks at some of the weather. Just a very messy and fast back in the scale and the weather and God, who are the men running or Kai? I knew Methy Ford, I knew that I was a man who had been a team in Labatawa, I knew that I was a man who 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 was Paul and Arthur are my body, but in good body. City fans are Kevin and Roy. Get your pedigree in goal. Tom and Jeff. I'm hope because they're there. So, yeah, mine's sick and good body. Blame my Roy. I'll sit my mini and doppy and wear it. Pen how much? Because my my abit tower around number the final and grief just been. My him talent now with your gang right. Talent City Bud and Warrior Abit Tower. I'm then my another been our gun and Stacey John Davis. You hear boss in our crew with go right. Need to go out and a gang right. I'm at the Marvato level with Rosie Hughes and Gabitha Carab. Yeah, and he go up with Rosie Hughes and go with he finds a Kevin right on Calico Sonda being at a level. I'm at Stacey John Davis just got my two handful. So the right son is the Amber Fenway, my Grace and Garrett, my Govlin Mount in all. Um, you go out. Mae'n gwelf yn ei, mae'n gallu sgorio pob fath o gol, o'n clip i ni wedi gweld hi ten, mae'n gallu sgorio o bell. O'n ni sylweb i ar y gem yma, ac yn wneud o'n ni meddwl yn y croeso, ar y sydd yn rhai o tro, gwelf yn gweld yn ei saethu. O'n dwi'n cael y cyson dy fyrach, os mae hi'n prif sgorio y gyngrwyd tymodwetha. Cym ynt o brofiad gyda Aber, tawe, cym ynt o gryfderau hefyd, fel mae'r Exum yn mynd i allu cadw nhw'n dawel. Mae'n mynd i bod yn anodd. Um, fi yn meddwl, mae angen nhw cael hanner gyntaf, really grief, just cadw nhw allan yn hanner gyntaf, just drech yn rhwystro nhw. Nes ni gweld ar y degau tymor dweitha, a byddai yn colli pen yn nhw ar y degau pethau ddim yn mynd o ffordd nhw. Mae nhw wedi dod o chwreiwyr newydd profiadol mewn, felly sy'n mynd i helpu gyda hwnna. Ond os bod yr ecs yn gallu aros yn y gêm hanner gyntaf, pwy o'r ar ôl hwnna. Gwenna'n diolch yn fawr am y tro, mae'n amser am ei gwyl, fer fan hyn, ond... Mae'r cefnogwyr yn barod mae'n dechrau llenwy yma y gic yntaf rhwng Grexam ac Abertawe i ddod ar ôl yr egoel.
ni a chroeso i benwthnos a goriadol y brif Adran Genero a mae'r glaw wedi cyrraedd jyst mewn pryd i'r gyff gyntaf na'r chedrecsam yn erbyn Abertawe sydd gyda ni ar eich cyferchu prynhawn me ac mae'n amser i ni ymuno anti-moed sylwebu. English Language Commentary with former Wales midfielder Katie Sherwood is with Mike Davis ac yn y Gymraeg mae Cap Morgan a Gwenan Harris. Gwenan Dylan, Evan Ezzer. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the rock home of Kevin Druid Football Club. But today, home to Wrexham AFC women who welcomed Swansea City, last year's Janeiro Adran Premier runners-up. It is an historic afternoon for all associated with Wrexham as they make their first appearance in the National League since 2015, following their dramatic 1-0 victory over Britain Ferry Llansawel in the National Playoff back in May. Keeping me company on red button commentary today is former Welsh international Katie Sherwood. Katie, how do you see this one going? First game of the season. You know, it's been a long pre-season. Both teams eager to get going. Obviously, Swansea, they have the experience. Um, but Wrexham will be looking to start off their campaign successfully. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how Wrexham make that transition from the second tier where they were winners of all their games last season and up against today a really really experienced Swansea City lineup Today's teams, Wrexham, well, Delith Morgan in goal, she was outstanding in the playoff final. They include two new signings, Luisa Doran of Flandidno, Karen Allen of Stourbridge. And look out for the tenacious tackling Lily Jones in midfield and striker Rosie Hughes. She'll lead the line. She scored 41 goals last season. For Swansea City, they include experienced Claire Skinner in goal and the new signing Chloe Bull of Bristol City. Yeah, Swansea um, will be setting up with that attacking talent and their front four is frightening. With Hosford, John Davis, Chivers and Chloe Bull will be forced going forward and Rax won't be looking to stay compact to nullify their threat. And there will be a minute silence observed this afternoon. The minute silence observed this afternoon in memory of the 266 men who lost their lives in the Gresford Colliery disaster of 1934, a tragedy, tragedy which is remembered annually by the whole Wrexham community. A minute silence impeccably observed here at the Rock. Home today to Rock Wrexham Women AFC. It's great to see so many supporters come together today. This is a, a fine attendance for the home team on their debut in the Janeiro Adran Premier 2020. 3.24 but as I said a, a little bit earlier and Katie thinks so too they're up against a really strong Swansea City lineup. it'll be really interesting to see how this one goes yeah Swansea will be looking to bounce back after what they would say a disappointing season last season and Chloe Bull one of their new signings she's a playmaker crossing back over from the bridge from championship winning team Bristol and she will be looking to drive this team forward She'll play in pocket to space and bring in that attacking threat that's in front of her. Really excited to see what she can bring to this league. 
And for Wrexham, Lily Jones, she is a young player to be watching. Only 17, Wrexham's powerhouse, so valuable in driving this team forward. She'll be looking to continue a goal-scoring record from the under-19s into this first team and will be an important pivot in the middle of the path for Wrexham this evening. And our referee for this evening's encounter is Mr Aaron Jones, Aaron Wynne Jones of Deganui. This is his third appearance live on Scorio this season. He took charge of the Barry versus Colwyn Bay draw and also Queen's Park's win against Bala at Maisteget. Well, here we go then for another season of the Gennaro Adran Women's Premier Champions Cardiff City have started on the front foot. They've won this afternoon 3 1 away at Cardiff Met. There were also wins for Aberystwyth Town and TNS. Let's see how this one goes. It'll be Swansea City to kick off. And they play the ball forward. Chloe Chivers, Chivers looking for Hosford out on the left-hand side, a really positive start by the Swans. Hosford, I think she may have run out of room there. A real clever pass, Katie, by Chloe Chivers, her first touch of the season, and great to see her back after a serious knee injury. Yeah, great to see her back after that injury. She is such an important part of this team. Like I said, I think the potential in the squad is quite frightening and Chloe Chivers will play a huge part in that. A focused player in that number nine position. I'm really excited to see what she can bring after, after you know, such a terrible injury. Wrexham building their way upfield. And that is Kerry Phillips, the Swans coach from the Carmarthen area. has been in charge since summer 2022. minute played here at the Rock. Chivers. They will be looking to play that ball into the feet of Stacey John Davis, the league's golden boot winner last season. This is Lake. Lake playing in the right back position. But love it for Wrexham. Goes back to Delith Morgan and she had an outstanding game in that playoff final. Katie, you were working with me on red button commentary that day. Super performance by the goalkeeper. Yeah, she was you know, so important um, in getting them over the line in that playoff final. And she's going to be key to their success this season. Protecting that back line, being commanding. You can already see Matt Wrexham are sitting in that medium block because they know the threat the Swansea will have in behind them. Clever ball to release Chloe Chivers. Stacey John Davis is on the far post, she heads down and off the line, dramatically cleared by a Wrexham defender. What an opportunity for the Swans to take the lead. Super cross, super header, but an even better clearance, Katie. Great start for Swansea. Like I said, they're attacking threat. Great ball in, and we know what Stacey John Davis can do in the box, but what a clearance there from Wrexham. Definitely started on the front for Swansea, and that's just... Just a little sign to Wrexham. They've got to get back in. And it was Luisha Doran, the new signing from Llandidno, who cleared off the line after only 2 minutes 40 seconds. Get on with it. Come on! I think we might have a, either a dual reissue here. I was going to say there's no VAR in this game, <laughs> is it? So they're not look checking at anything. <laughs> TJ Dickens has had to take a piercing out. It's crossed in deep. Once again, Swansea first to the ball, first to react. It was Jess Williams on the far post. That was a great whipped in delivery there from Chloe Chivers. Just again showing the threat the Swansea have. Jess Williams for me, too easy for her to get in the back there, and make that contact. Gotta be tighter in the box from Wrexham. Again, Swansea first to react. Ball forward. Stacey John Davis almost clear in on goal, but Delith Morgan had read the threat. She releases early. 
no foul awarded and there's a handball in there but it isn't given it will be a throw to Wrexham I thought that was a handball by Ellie Lee. I thought I thought it was a foul first of all on Levitt Rosie Hughes helps the ball on towards Lightfoot Lake quick feet back to goalkeeper the experienced Claire Skinner Elisa Pau is the partner to Jess Williams in defence. This is Pau carrying the ball effectively and winning a throw on halfway. You can see how Swansea want to play. They want to build from the black back. They want to move and cause those imbalances in the Wrexham's midfield and let them make decisions of stepping out. Wrexham being starved of possession here in the early stages. This is Jess Williams. Williams again looking for that defence splitting pass. It's just when I look at the two sides, and we had a chat before commentary, Katie, it's all about experience here as well, isn't it? it yeah, exactly that. You know, Swansea have been the team to be, you know, to be chasing the last couple of seasons. Last season, they didn't have the season that they are used to having. We've seen the league progress. We've seen the likes of Cardiff Met, Cardiff City, TNS. They're chasing the top teams. Um, so they'll definitely be looking to get back to winning ways. But their experience is invaluable. Lightfoot. See what she was going to do. Try to do that. And the Lightfoot and the ball. Is defended well by Swansea, and they'll be quick on the break with Oxford on the uh, left hand side. Plenty of time here for Alicia Powell to turn. I think probably one of the most significant things that has happened during the early part of the season, or in the close season, I should say, Katie, is. The fact that Wrexham, Cardiff and Swansea have gone have all gone semi-professional. Yeah, it's a massive step forward you know, in, in this league and it just shows that the investment that owners are, are willing to put in. And it's unfortunate for the other teams that they're now chasing that because these teams who have been invested in, they now have more training time, they have better facilities, they'll be travelling better, they have more time um, to think about all those things with the S&C conditioning. So Wrexham, Swansea and Cardiff City, they're all in great positions going into this season. But with comes that is also, you know, expectation when you are semi-professional. That's clever played by Swansea again, building down this right-hand side. Stacey John Davis in the middle of everything. And uh, it'll be a big season as well for new signing Chloe Bull. We picked her out early, early on, Bristol City women, where she won the trophy last season. Yeah, she started her career actually at Swansea, so for her to come back, she wants to win titles, she wants to get this team back to winning ways, and she will score goals in this league. She scored goals for Bristol City, she's also been capped for Wales, um, so she's a really exciting player to come back to this league. Here's Ball. Ball. The ball goes away through there, didn't quite manage it. Well read by Swansea City. There's half an opportunity there, ball being carried well. Strong in the tackle, Jess Williams in on last year's top scorer, Rosie Hughes. Jess Williams will really have to step up, step up. they've lost you know, their, her centre-back partner in Shauna Jenkins, who moved to... Oxford, she was such a fantastic player for Swansea, so she is now that commanding player at the back. back. And we know what Rosie Hughes can do, we've seen it. Um, so she'll be keeping a close eye on her, not letting her get an inch. Can't play by Swansea City, Alicia Powell. Now to the left hand side. Oh, the foul awarded there. The foul on Hosford. I think that's going to be a good battle down that left hand side with Hosford and Davis. But just using her experience there, Katie Hosford. Slight contact, going down, getting her team a free kick. Bye. 
brakes when you're ready, yeah? Free kick well dealt, dealt with by the Wrexham defence. Lightfoot onto Mari Gibbard. Williams who's played it forward for Swansea City. A little bit of hesitancy there. It's headed back and Delith Morgan has to be quickly off her line. Swansea settling in well, playing calmly, building the passes, Katie. Yeah, they've definitely been the more settled team out of the two. I think Steve Dale will be happy, though. His team are matching them up. The tracking runners, the show and aggression. Been really impressed with Rexon's captain so far. She's been a new player for them. Karen Allen, she brings experience from her previous sides. And she'll be really looking to organise that defence, keep them compact and limit any space that the Swansea have. Late with the throw. Into feet. Early cross looking for the dangerous Chivers. Ball played forward. An opportunity here to release Rebecca Pritchard. Pritchard was the uh, the lady who scored the winning goal in Newtown in the playoff final. The cross played in, she got that slight touch. And it was a game, to be fair, that Britain Ferry did dominate in terms of possession and opportunities, but it was Wrexham who pinched the goal. Great distribution. She is, in fact, the Wales under 19s goalkeeping coach and has an A license. Dallas Morgan. And super Dallas Morgan she was in those <laughs> last couple of games, wasn't she? She was. Phoebe Davis with the free kick for Exxon. Looking for the run of Pritchard. And the Swans have to concede a corner. And it's the first corner of the game for the home side. And Steve Dale will be happy with this side's reaction. 11 minutes played. No score here at the Rock, home of Kevin Druid. But today, Wrexham AFC women. Looking for the run of Rosie Hughes, I'm sure. She's not the tallest, but very, very quick. Shout the handball from the crowd. Ball is cleared. Stacey John Davis, look how quick she's across the ground. And the throw is awarded to Wrexham. That's great work there from Stacey John Davis. Swansea actually had every player back in the box then defending. They didn't leave one player up. inside to Gibbard. Gibbard, what a super pass that is out to Lightfoot. Amber Lightfoot up against Ellie Lake. Lightfoot favouring her left foot. Goes for goal! A low shot collected by Claire Skinner, but it was the pass from Gibbard that made it. And that's a first glimpse that we've seen of Lightfoot. We know how creative she is. We know what, we know what she can bring out wide. I'd like to see her get in the game more. Her and Rosie Hughes, they had a great partnership. And Rosie Hughes will want to replicate what she did last season in the Adran North. It's going to be tricky, but she just we haven't seen much of her yet. But we know that she is a goal scorer. We did feel that today was going to be a stern challenge for the Wrexham women. They found it very easy last season, winning all 12 of their league games. They had that close affair at Wrexham. No, I don't, I don't think that's a handball. There's a loud shout from a hopeful Wrexham supporter, I think. Yeah, it'll be tough for Wrexham to replicate their form in the Adram North. They know that. They're under no illusions what awaits them in this league. But, you know, this is the start of an exciting season for them. Ball played long, looking for the pace of Rosie Hughes, and she is quick, and she gets to the ball first. Hughes looking for support. It's Lightfoot who's there. And an excellent shot from distance by TJ Dickens. 
joined Swansea in August 2021. And we've seen this from TJ Dickens. We know that she can shoot from distance. And why not test the keeper? But that's what we like to see from Rosie Hughes. She'll play on the shoulder. She'll stretch the defence. A lot has been made about standards in the uh, Gennaro Adram Premier, uh, Katie, but there's been a lot of movement as well, with a lot of players moving up the tiers. Ball played forward by Swansea, looking for Chloe Chivers, and almost an opportunity created again by Stacey John Davis for Chivers. Yeah, there's been lots of players in and out of the league, and um, we've seen Starlet, Phoebe Poole and Lily Bingham leave Cardiff City and join Cheltenham. We've seen Pontypris, Olivia Francis join Man United and it just shows the talent that comes out of this league. Hosford crosses, this is Chivers! And she was in front there of the defender. Erin Lovett was closest to it. She's so alert in the box, Chloe Chivers, always looking. Her movement off the ball is fantastic with Ellis Morgan there again. Ball wins the header for Swansea in the first place, but it's Rosie Hughes guiding the header, but nipping in there it was Neve Jenkins. Clever cross again, looking for Rosie Hughes, but intercepted by the Swansea defence. hear the voice of Steve Dale on our effects mic here telling the ladies to be calm on the ball to take their time to keep possession and that's exactly what the Swans are doing ball played forward Hosford but she's offside Sophie Hancock's with the pass another new signing for Swansea City Sophie Hancock Returning to Swansea after a spell at Cardiff Met. She'll be such an important player for Swansea. She just sits in front of the back four, breaks up play, receives the ball, keeps the ball, keeps it, her game very simple. 16 minutes played, no score here at the Rock. Home to Wrexham AFC women. Love it. Clever little header by Stacey John Davis, but Lovett is there again for Wrexham. The Wrexham players actually have more time than they think they have. Lovett had an opportunity there just to take another touch, recycle the ball, rather than snatching it in, giving away easy possession back to Swansea. Well, no push awarded there. Chivers is strong. She crosses low into Stacey John Davis. A clever ball. Over the head, back again, on the volley, hits the bar. So unlucky. Last season's golden boot winner almost opening the scoring. And uh, a long shot there is saved by Dallas Morgan. But more opportunities for Kerry Phillips' team. Stacey John Davis, she's so dangerous in the box. Consistently knows how to find the back of the net. Composing the box there, really unlucky. Being saved by the crossbar. But this is what I'm talking about, the threat the Swansea have going forward. She was so strong there as well, and she's on the ball again, and this is her pace up against Lovett. Draws in Lovett, but she does well, Erin Lovett. Timed that tackle well, and this is good play by Wrexham down the left-hand side, and then ball is cleared by Williams of Swansea into the safe hands of Delith Morgan. Stacey John Davis, 31 years of age now. She's got nine Welsh under 17s caps, top scorer for Swansea in the last four seasons. And she scores a variety of goals as, a, goals as well, Mike. And she'll drift out wide and she'll try and drag centre backs out of position. She's confident. And like I said, she knows how to find the back of the net. She scored that brilliant goal last season against uh, Cardiff Met in the opening game of the season at the Swansea.com. And Wrexham trying to play themselves out of defence here. Slightly fortunate. 
Lily Jones, Jones. Dickens. Dickens, the long ball. Looking for the run of Pritchard. Ball is cleared, and this is Husford. There's a nice balance to the Swansea side as well, isn't there? You know, we talked about how attacking they were going to be. Hosford on the left, Chivers through the middle, Stacey John Davis, well, presumably on the right hand side, but able to drift in and to play more centrally too. Yeah, and they don't stay in those positions, they're happy to rotate. And with Chloe Bull in that position just behind them in that number 10 position, she will look to get beyond them as well we haven't seen her as much yet but i'm sure as the game goes on she will look to take that number nine position and chloe chivers dropping behind just to unsettle that Wrexham defense Gibbard. again it's not long looking for the pace of uh, rosie hughes listen to the weather forecast all last night they talked about the possibility of heavy rain it's been dry here in the Wrexham area for most of the day but the rain has arrived here at the rock. Perfect playing conditions. These are the games you want to play in when it's a bit slippery on the surface. Mm. Surface. You can zip that ball around. Certainly Swansea looking the more threatening of the two sides in the first 20 minutes. 18 minutes, uh, 20 minutes played. A bit of a pull there, I think, by... Uh, Lily Jones and I think Aaron Wynn Jones will win a word with young Lily Jones only 17 years of age two goals last season but a really strong player and has a bright future in front of her Lily Jones Swans have the ball ball played out to Stacey John Davis looking for the run of Lick gets a foot to it Dickens is back in defence and it's a throw to Swansea. Lake right back. Disappointing there from Chloe Bull. Scotty on Monday night at 10.35 highlights of this match alongside all the action and excitement of this weekend's matches from the JD Cymru Premier. If you happen to miss it, I oh, want to see it again. There's a repeat showing on Tuesday evening at uh, 6.30. Morgan clears towards Dickens, who gets the flick on into the path of Rosie Hughes. Hughes keeps it in really well. Williams is there look, looking for the intercept, but Rosie Hughes picks it up again. On to Pritchard. Pritchard's in here. Pritchard! It's good! An historic goal for Wrexham AFC women. Beautifully played by them. A defence splitting pass, releasing Rebecca Pritchard. She scored the all important goal in the playoff final and she scored Wrexham's first goal in the Gennaro Adran Premier of 23 24. And Swansea looks stunned. That is a great finish. First chance on goal, great end product from Rebecca Pritchard. We know what she can do. Finds the corner, the back of the net, the keeper had no chance. Swansea looks stunned. Caught off guard, a great through ball here by Rosie Hughes. And what a great finish by Rebecca Pritchard. Well, she took it on the first touch, in off the post. Perfect clinical finish by Rebecca Pritchard. And again, don't underestimate the pass, as Katie said, from Rosie Hughes. Defence splitting pass, perfectly weighted into the path of Pritchard. And she finished with a plumb. How do Swansea respond now, Mike? Well, they've, been, they've had, the, obviously, the better of the chances. They've looked up more composed. Bit of a smash and grab there. Yeah, against the runner play. Swansea have had the better of the possession, the better of the threats. Three goals she scored last season. And she, well, she only scores important goals. Rebecca Pritchard, quite obviously. Super finish. Really well played. This is Chloe Ball looking for a Swansea response. 
hit a little too hard and in front of Hosford and it's out harmlessly. But a goal kick to Wrexham and that'll settle the players down, I'm sure. And great reaction from Steve Dale here to our right. He'll be really happy with how his team has settled into this game. They've matched Swansea defensively. Had a little bit of luck when Stacey John Davis's left foot shot struck the bar, but they certainly reacted well. We kick to Swansea just inside their own half. It's funny with Chloe Chivers, she had that the, her first touch was such an excellent touch, and we haven't really seen as much of Chivers as I expected. Stacey John Davis, perhaps of the three forwards, has had most of the touches in the uh, Wrexham half in the first 25 minutes. But I think that goal, Katie, will have given Wrexham a lot of confidence. They're snapping in at the heels of the Swansea players now. A lot of confidence, a lot of belief. They are undoubtedly the underdogs going into this game. They're freshly promoted against a team that are really established in the league. Lovett with the throw. Hancocks is there. Lovett on the volley clears. Oh, beautiful touch by Chloe Bull. Williams towards the run of Chivers. Morgan waits for the ball and again she times her run out of goal perfectly. I thought for a minute she hesitated, but she collected calmly. But that is a threat that Wrexham will need to be aware of. Chloe Chivers, she's playing on the shoulder. She's looking for that ball in behind all the time. Swansea have looked to play through the line so many times, but then they can go long as well. Yeah, they have such variety to their play. This is the goal. Or the opportunity, sorry. Hughes finishes fantastically. Uh, Pritchard. That is a great finish. <laughs> Williams again carries over halfway. Lake has made the run. It's a race between Lake ball is cleared and Doran, Doran came across there. Ball takes the throw quickly into the feet of John Davis. Davis, a low shot. This time harmlessly through to Delif Morgan. I thought she was going to curl into the far corner there. And that's where Stacey John Davis is dangerous. When she picks it up in a wide position, she cuts inside. She's happy to play off right foot, left foot. She always has one eye on goal. Strong in the tackle for Wrexham. Real test for Mari Gibbard and Lily Jones in the central midfield area. And the Wrexham player takes a tumble far side. It's Chivers. I think that's not the first time that she's used her shoulder. I think that's a little bit of frustration as well coming into play. It was on was it on Phoebe Davis or Karen Allen? That oh, was Allen who carried the ball out and not much in it, shoulder to shoulder. But I think if, again, it been, if that'd be me, I would have done a free kick. There. Experience, Karen Allen taking the free free kick, taking the free kick. All played long, but I think this is too long even for the fleet to foot Rosie Hughes. Nearly half an hour played, KK plenty to ponder for Kerry Phillips. I think he wants a little bit more urgency from his team. You can see Jess Williams, she's bringing the ball out to play there. She's looking for options. Her only option is to play the ball long. Chivers 
looking to change direction of play. Hancock's his header. Chivers again. Ball played out wide towards Stacey John Davis. Oh, goodness me. She's crashed into the barriers behind the goal. Aaron Wynne Jones rushes across. She tried to keep that ball in. And her pace has just knocked it straight into the barriers and the advertising hoardings behind the goal. And we really hope that everything's okay there. She's taken a real hit there, Katie. I think she's holding her wrist or her arm. This could be quite a serious injury to Stacey John Davis, and it's an unfortunate. It was a, the pass between the defenders and she was going probably at full tilt you when she looked across it. Yeah, and you can see the medical team there. It looks like he's signalling, saying that we need to change. She's definitely going to have to come off. I hope it's not as serious as it does look. Well, it's with Amber Lightfoot and you can see that she crashes in There was no malice in that challenge. Both went for it, and it's just maybe that those barriers are a little too close, too close. To, to the uh, playing surface. It's just two two players there going for the ball. Like you said, there's no malice. They just collided, and I do think the barriers are too close to the pitch. And it's an unfortunate accident. In picture there, you see the uh, new... Signing for Swent for um, for Wrexham. Hannah Keriakopoulos. Former Welsh international. Yeah. I played with Hannah at international level. He's a great signing for Wrexham. Here's the goal again. And I, we actually, it was Gibbard who played the ball mm. into Pritchard. It wasn't Ro mm. Rosie Jones. Rosie Hughes, sorry. A great Hughes. link up play yeah. here by Hughes into Gibbard, and that's a, a clever ball. And great positioning by Pritchard coming inside and finding the back of the net. She, she didn't have to break stride there, did she? Knocked it first time across the goalkeeper in off the post. It was a fantastic finish. It was a perfectly weighted ball by Gibbard into her run. Like you say, that is composed finish. You know she's holding her shoulder here. We're hearing perhaps it may well be a dislocated shoulder that is the problem, and this is going to be really hard on both club and the player. Stacey John Davis has been quite outstanding in the first half an hour of play. Yeah, this will be a huge loss for Swansea. Like I said, we talked about how consistent she is in front of goal, how valuable she is. And Stacey John Davis is replaced by Robin Pinder. And uh, Pinder is 29 years of age. She has a semi pro contract, as do 16 of the players with Swansea City. She's joined from Cardiff Met scored five goals and ten assists for Robin Pinder but our thoughts are all with Stacey John Davis and a hopeful quick and swift recovery from what looks like a really serious injury one that could keep her out for a long time yeah it's not how you want to start your season is it with losing such a valuable player And she is key to their success this season, well, the success that they're hoping to have this season. But what Swansea do, they have great depth. They have a, you know, a great squad. Robin Pinder coming on, replacing her. Bags of experience in this league. good to see so many people have come to watch this first league encounter for Wrexham AFC women but as you can see the clock ticks on 
And it was about 30 minutes on the clock when Stacey John Davis crashed into the barriers. Yeah, there's a great crowd here this evening. On the back of the Women's World Cup, we had great attendances, and this is what we want to see now in the Adran League. Good to see her. She's back on her feet anyway. She hopefully won't need the, the stretcher that was uh, provided. But having the best of medical help and support, Stacey John Davis. Remember, golden boot winner last season, Swansea City's top scorer for the last four seasons. As we feared, it looks like a shoulder dislocation. But it does raise that important question of health and safety here, because... Um, we see a lot of football, Katie, between us, and I'm just looking, and it just struck me how close the barriers were behind the, both goals. Yeah, because it wasn't a push, was it? It was just chase for the ball and a, a collision with the barrier. Well, this is Pinder, and Pinder crosses towards the far post. The idea was right, uh, looking for Katie Hosford coming in off her left wing. Robin Pinder's first touch, a positive one. She's wearing the number nine shirt. Impressive CV and an impressive season for Cardiff Met last season. Five goals and ten assists. And straight away, Pinder just showing her experience there. Slight contact going down, getting her team a free kick in the final third of the pitch. Giving Swansea an opportunity again to set this up. We know the delivery that Katie Hosford has into the box. Free kick for Swansea, 36 minutes played. Wrexham 1, Swansea City 0 in the opening Janeiro Adran Premier fixture of the season. Rebecca Pritchard's goal separating the teams, but there will be a delay again as Stacey John Davis will be moved and I think it will be by stretcher now Katie. yeah the issue is she's still very close to the pitch isn't she so taking this free kick there could be another collision the attendance here this evening is 606 which is a really positive start for the Janeiro Adran Premier setting the standard Hoping to see increased attendances this season. And to be fair, the league has grown year on year since we had the restructure. There was a lot of controversy surrounding the, the, the restructure, but down to eight teams. But obviously, that means that we get a better standard. And a good hand from all around the ground here for Stacey John Davis. Everybody realising the seriousness of her injury and the disappointment written all over her face in pain, leaving the ground. And we wish her well for a speedy recovery. Ball played long. It was a dangerous one, but Delis Morgan watched it all the way. I'm not sure she was going for goal there. Bit of a wasted opportunity there for Swansea. Good numbers in the box. We know the delivery that Katie Hosford can put into the box. I would have liked to see her put in Tess Wrexham, Tess De Delith Morgan. Opportunity wasted. Morgan clears. Pinder holds the ball up. And there is a foul against... It was against uh, Karen Allen or Lily Jones or a combination of the two there in the back she's a different type of player Robin Pinder she'll look to have the ball to feet she's comfortable in tight spaces and she'll look to bring players around her into play and again she's earned her team a second free kick in a dangerous position 
Seven minutes to go before the break, but there will be significant added time at the end of this first half following the injury to Stacey John Davis. Chivers over this free kick for the Swans. And again, it's too far in front of her play, uh, her colleagues. And Delith Morgan just watches the ball out for a goal kick. A shake of the head and a frustration there for Chloe Chivers. If I was Kerry Phillips, I'd be really frustrated with those last two free kicks. Two opportunities wasted. Morgan clears towards halfway. Pritchard, the scorer, finishes in quickly. a bit more urgency from both these teams since we've restarted, settle back into the game. Oxford goes down quickly, Pritchard wins the throw far side, as clever play by the goal scorer. Further applause you can hear again is for Stacey John Davis. She leaves for hospital. Powell to Jessica Williams and Amber Lightfoot had read that one, but the Swans get themselves out of trouble. This is Lake. Lake into the feet of Chivers. Chivers again looking for that crossfield ambitious ball. Gibbard is there. A little bit too far in front of... Uh, Lily Jones and it's Hancocks who intercepts and it's with Hosford. She's looking to shoot from distance and Delith Morgan had to get down and save that one and concede the corner. She's disappointed with the fact that she's conceded the corner, but it was an important save. Yeah, and this is where Katie Hosford is dangerous, where she cuts in with her pace. She scores goals from distance like that and gains her team a corner, but I think Delith Morgan will be disappointed she didn't get her, keep her hands on that one. Hosford crosses in, Morgan punches clear. Bull, it's Lily Jones with a, with a clearance. Good turn by Williams into the middle, oh, inches past the post. Super play by the centre back. Great play here by Jess Williams. She keeps the ball alive. Great delivery. Oh, delicate touch there from Robin Pinder. Pinder, the substitute. She got the touch. She acknowledges the quality of the cross. But Pinder, she's looking sharp in front of goal. Fulton Heather Pinder across again against Doran. Doran turns effectively. Chivers beaten to the ball. Lightfoot attempting to, and she may well have won. Oh no, the ball stayed in. Hancock's two to Chivers. Gibbard. Looking to clear, she does well. Good hold up play by Rosie Hughes in the first place, but she's crowded out by Hancocks and Williams, and it's with Powell. Powell, that's a super ball to release Katie Hosford. Hosford, and super tackle by Phoebe Davis, stood her ground. Played the ball into the channel, encouraging the run from Rosie Hughes, and Powell had to be across quickly. Super tackle there. Great defensive work there from, from Davis. Doran and Karen Allen. Allen, quick feet by the new signing. And looking for the pass to release Pritchard. I think Allen's been a really good signing for Wrexham. She looks like she's a leader. She has great experience, keeping her team really organised at the back. Really comfortable in possession to build play for Wrexham. And she's a lady who's moved to uh, to Wrexham from Stourbridge. She's had three promotions with Stourbridge and has had time with West Brom and Aston Villa. 
Yeah, you can see the experience she has. Free kick awarded to Swansea City in the right back position. It's Jess Williams who releases that as we approach the last minute of this first half. Wrexham ahead by a goal to nil. Super goal created by Rosie Hughes. And Gibbard and finished excellently by Pritchard. This is Williams. Williams forward looking for Pinder. Pinder, and again it's Karen Allen who's strong in the tackle there. She did really well. And the ball played long, and there is an offside. Doesn't really need she can give Jess Williams, I think, a yard, Rosie Hughes. She's quick enough. Her her pace is frightening. She gotta be she's gotta do better there. It's a great ball over the top. Just curve her run a little bit to stay on side because she knows she has the pace to get in behind Jess Williams. Hosford, eight minutes have been added at the end of this first half. Ball played in, and again, Wrexham's scramble defence. Hancock's ball round the corner towards Hosford, but again, the ball beats Katie Hosford on that far side. But a lot of the joy that the Swans are getting are down that left-hand side. But it's Rosie Hughes who's causing the Swans' defence a lot of problems. Her pace against Jess Williams and Alicia Powell. She's quicker than the two of them. And it's just a simple direct ball over the top because she knows Lightfoot will be there to support her. But she's just got to be a bit more clever with the timings of her run. Because, like you say, she has the pace to get in behind. It's always that temptation when you've got that pace, isn't it? To go early, when you don't really have to do that, you just hold back. Pinder out to Hosford. Pinder again, square to Bull. Patient play by the Swans, and they look to get themselves back on parity here at the Rock. Chivers, Chivers, left foot shot. Collected comfortably by Dallas Morgan. Both wide players for Swansea, they like to cut in, but there's an opportunity then for the fullback to get around them and create those overloads. Both looking to cut in and take strikes on goal. Hughes under pressure, time to turn. Again. Looking to split that defence and release, release Lightfoot. Ball played forward by Gibbard, but it's Finch who's across for Swansea. And has to concede the throw in. We played two of the added eight at the end of this uh, first half. The first half, which has been quite intriguing, Katie, because we really did think that Sw Swansea would come out of the traps quickly. They did so. They hit the bar through Stacey John Davis. They've had plenty of possession. A lot of opportunities, but it was Wrexham who punished them by going ahead through Pritchard. But the Swans come again. Karen Allen. Allen. Ooh. Free kick awarded there against Pinder. She's dawdling a bit on the ball there, Karen Allen, for the first time. I think she got lucky there. But Pinder, she does come in two-handed. And you know in the laws of the game that that is going to be a foul. But going back to what you said, Mike, it has been an open game. But I think Wrexham, they've really surprised me with how organised and compact they are. They've really nullified the space for Swansea. Um, however, I don't think Swansea's quality in the final third is as I, I had expected it to be. Here comes Rosie Hughes. Again, her pace causing problems. And the free kick is awarded against Rosie Hughes. That looked a bit of a harsh decision, in my opinion. I think it was similar to the one we just seen. There's a nudge in the back there. She's lucky to not get booked as well for kicking the ball away. Well, Swansea keep uh, Claire Skinner 
She has not much to do, a couple of strikes from distance and and then the goal which she never really saw. He saw it coming and in off the post. Yeah, she's had a really quiet first half, hasn't she? Great work there from Rosie Jones. Rosie Hughes, sorry, holding Hughes. the ball up, turning. And a good pass, effective pass to Lightfoot. Lightfoot, edge of the box, cuts inside on her right foot. The strike is blocked and collected here by Swansea. Opportunity to play the ball forward to Chivers. Oh, the tackle there, a wild tackle by TJ Dickens on the Swans captain, Katie Hosford. That was a late, tired tackle there from Dickens. Arden Wynne Jones explaining his decision here. It could be a last final warning here, and the next one is a yellow card. I think she's lucky there not to get booked. Five of the eight added minutes have been played. Williams. Headed forward. Lovett is there. Collected by Chivers. Chivers again shot blocked. Good defending by uh, Rexham edge of the box. Dickens again. Lake rushes across to take it. Pinder. Offers herself, wearing nine, feeds Bull. Pinder there again, but Karen Allen, star defensively for Wrexham in this first half. And Rosie Hughes this time couldn't hold the ball up, so it's with Pau. But Hughes is strong and she wins the ball back. Oh, and she dribbles past two. Now this could be a card. Arden Wynne Jones, good skill by Hughes. And it's Hancock's who's called across. I'm not sure if that was Alicia Powell originally. She turned and then. It was a, a double whammy. <laughs> but that is what Rosie Hughes can do. She picks those balls up in the pockets. She has a low sense of gravity. She can turn and then she brings others into play. Dorant with the free kick for Rexon. Oh, it's a super ball out to Lightfoot on the angle. Feeding Lily Jones. Jones inside towards uh, Lightfoot. Bull uses her body well there to protect the ball. Flicked by Chloe Chivers, but that'll frustrate the uh, Sonji coaches as well. They needed the ball to be held up. Allen, and the ball to Lightfoot is always on, and here it comes, the ball wide looking for Hughes and Lightfoot, but the crossfield pass this time not as accurate from the back. Swansea are really narrow, which is allowing Lightfoot to pull out into this wide area, and that pass is always on, and we've seen Allen can play that ball to her, it's just sometimes the quality of the pass isn't always the best, but that pass is on. Super first touch by Chloe Chivers. Chivers! Oh, what an effort from distance. At least 30 yards out. Chloe Chivers. Delith Morgan again well positioned to take the ball down, but a super effort. Yeah, Delith Morgan, she has to stay alert because we know the quality that Chloe Chivers has. She's slightly off her line. Just couldn't get enough on it to cause any problem. You were right there, KP. Delith Morgan was slightly off her line and a little bit higher and Swansea would have been level. Well, there we are. The eight minutes of added time have been played. It's Rebecca Pritchard's goal that divides the team at half-time. Super build-up play to create the goal. It's been an intriguing first half, dominated by Swansea possession. And it's a frustrating one for Kerry Phillips. But Wrexham lead at half-time here at The Rock. Wrexham 1, Swansea 0.
y dechreuad crif gan Abertawe, cyfle ar ôl cyfle i'r elerch ond a pethau droi'n hyntedd yn glo iawn. Achos maen nhw ar ei hôl hi o gôl i ddim yn erbyn Wrexham a maen nhw wedi colli seren, y sioe seren y tîm Stacey John Davis. Croeso nôl ato ni i'r sgôr ar yr hanner Wrexham 1, Abertawe dim. Yeah, dyma ni, mae'r glaw wedi cyrraedd Gwennan a mae yna ddigon i drafod yr ôl yr hanner cynt yna. Nawn ni ddechrau gyda'r gôl, unig gôl y gêm, a Gwennan ddath i mas o un man. Ie, yeah, oedd, oedd rhaw sy'n hwyl sy'n ei gwaith dda fyny yn y brwyd yn un erbyn un. Mae jyst yn ddod y cyflym dyr hi. Mae eisiau pawb yn dod draw i warchod chwarae teg, ond mae jyst yn jyst cyffyrddiad bach yn drwm, a wedyn pritiod fyny yn chwarae teg. Nath i ddau oed i rediad i ars, tro ddim cam sefyll, a ffordd mm. nath i jyst wedyn pwyllo uh, yn hollol wych. Llwytho i elfennau negyddol um, iawn yn amffodus gan Abertawen, y ffordd yn nhw'n amddiffyn fyna. Ond cymryd dim byd i ffordd o'r ffordd nath pritiad, reit mewn i'r cord nel, cywildeb campus. Ie, yeah, daeth y gol gwenad, mae so un man, a fel we dysi, o'n un sôn, bod Rexham ffyrdd i bod, bod yn naif yn ystod y gêm yma, ond amddiffyn naif gan Abertawe. Ie, yeah, yn sicr, o'n i'n jyst bach yn siomedig gyda'r ffordd y chwreiwyr canol cae, so Sophie Hancos mae'n ffordd, mae'n mae brofiadol iawn, achos bod eisiau pawb i cam i allan. Oedd wedyn angen i hi synhwyro a jyst llenwi'r bwlch yna yn ei gweld o'r clipiau o'r onglau arall jyst y ffordd mae hi wedyn yn dilyn y bêl hmm. yn lle trio trac y rediad gan Pritchard. So, dy pethau gweddau sy'n hawdd i, I gallu ffecsio, ond gan ystyr bod nhw'n tîm mor profiadol, uh, ond i ddim yn disgwyl i nhw cael gymaint o, o wagleoedd a bylchau fel hynna yn amddiffyn o. Hmm. A cyn y gôl, Gwenna'n digon o gyfleon i Abertawe. Stacey John Davis a Chloe Chivers yn cydweithio dda iawn. Ie, yeah, wel, dylan nhw'n rhyw sgorio hwn yn syth. Um, John Davis, falle ddim y golig ar y pen. Mae'n un o ddau cadwyl lawr, um, ond wedyn dyran fan yn ei gwaith ar ben i cael nôl ar, ar y llinell. A jyst, falle jyst gormod y lef yn hyn i, I John Davis, ond so, sgiliau gydidog. Ond na'r, na'r gwahaniaeth yn y gêm yw'r ffaith bod Wrexham sy'n cael llai o gyfleoedd, ond maen nhw wedi cymryd y cyfle yna. Mae Abertawe wedi bod nhw'n wastraffus iawn o flaen y gôl, a ti'n methu ffordio i fod ar y lefel yma. Ie, yeah, Stacey John Davis... Seren y sioe, wel o'n i rannaf cas iawn, uh, Stacey wedi datgymalu i hysgwydd, oedd i mewn cryn dipyn o mm. bôn, ond mae i'n gwenna'n robin pinda yn dod mlan i'r ca, a gath i cyfled jyst cyn dywedd yr hanner cyntaf. Ie, yeah, ddim yn chwarae i rai cyffol i ddod arno. Ie, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ennill y gynghrair pimp o weitha. Ie, yeah, yn un iawn, a faint y profiad sydd gyda hi. Gwaith dda iawn gan Jess Williams, actually, yn i ddim yn disgwyl yna o amddiffyn o'r canol, i fynd lan y, yr asgell fy'n hyn. Uh, Croesiad dda iawn, mae pinda yn wneud rediad arbennig. Ond o'n i jyst yn teimlo falle gallu hi wedi mynd gyda'r coes arall. Um, o'n i'n ongl bach yn anodd hi wedi mynd gyda'r coes y gosach. Ond mae'r rwyddion yn amddiffynol wedi bod fyna i, I Wrexham hefyd. So, mm. O ran y tro o'n i'n sôn am bod bach yn naif. Jyst ennill y brwyd yr un yn erbyn un, pa i dilyn y bêl. Jyst sicrhau bod safle corfforol chi'n gywir wrth delio gyda'r coesiadau yna. Gwenna'n diolch am y tro. Mae rai fe, fi wastad yn genfi genes o Nicky John yn y gêm yma. Mae wastad yn cael siarad gyda pobl cool iawn, a Nicky, mae yna westau gyda ti sy'n mynd i sôn am barneriaeth, spe, barneriaeth special iawn i'r gyngrair. Ie, yeah, diolch, Sianad. Yma yn cadw cwmwn i mi pnaw ma, ma Nick a Chelsea i drafod ymgyrch arbennig gêm hi hefyd. Now, Nick, before we begin, I know that we're just keen to tilt down and show your very, very cool <laughs> trainers. So while we do that, just tell me about the impressions of the first half there. Yeah, really exciting, competitive game to start off with. Um, Wrexham, I think, good for the win at half-time. Disappointing to see quite a serious injury yeah. there. Kind of dro- dropped a little bit, but hopefully get a second half, get back into it. Absolutely. Chelsea, gai ofyn i ti rwan, da chi yma i drafod ymgyrch gêm hi hefyd. A ni wedi clywed dipyn yn y wasg am her game two. Mm-hmm. Ond mae'n barneriaeth arbennig iawn yn digwydd yma rwan yng Nghymru yn oes. Oes. So, uh, mae gêm hi hefyd wedi partneri gyda um, cymreiriau um, yr adran a cymreiriau Cymraeg. Mae hwnna'n masif i'r campaign. Uh, mae gêm hi hefyd um, yn partneriau gyda llawer o glybiau yng, yng Nghymru. Ond rwan i partneriau gyda'r cymreiriau hollol, mae hwnna'n jyst step mawr yn y ffordd cywir. A dydd wrthyn ni chydig bach mwy am y gwaith holl bwysig ma sy'n cael ei wneud? So i gychwynt, yn i jyst yn hoffi um, cael awareness i'r um, gêm hi hefyd, ond dyn ni'n um, cael arian i rhoi yn um, teamiau grassroots um, pêl-droed i genod ar um, dynion hefyd, so mae hwnna'n jyst mawr i cael um, y gynghreiriau ar, ar, um, ar lain gyda ni. 
and Inyon, Nick, there's such huge strides forward being made, isn't there? And such an important message as well. What would you like people to take away from her game too? I think it's just that football is for everybody um, and the, if the achievements and the contributions that women can make to football, um, I think that's just so important. I think that's what uh, her game too is really, really doing a good job with. Brilliant. Listen, loving the shoes, but also <laughs> loving the T-shirts, ladies. Nice work. Aquil ver sinesa gyn yn eiro an ond dewch yn ôl atyn ni ar gyfer yr ail hanna rhwng Rexham ac Abertawa mewn cwpl o funudau. Yn ôl ato ni o'r gêm domestig i'r gêm rhyngwladol i'ch afbwyntio o gêm gyntaf Cymru yng Nghyngrair y Cynhedloedd yn erbyn gwlad yr ia nos wener am bum yn ed wedi deg ar S. Pydorec a wedyn enwch Gynghraid Cymru ni'n fyw o'r ofal ar gyfer Cynarfon yn erbyn pont y prif. Mae hwnna'n fyw ar sgorio ar lein am bum bwrgloch ti'n sadwn ond mae'r chwrewyr nôl ar y ca felly nôl ato ni at gwenan cath a dylan. Welcome back to Scorio's Red Button Commentary Service, coming to you live from The Rock here at the home of Wrexham Women, AFC, who lead against Swansea City by a goal to nil. 
a 23rd minute goal by Rebecca Pritchard dividing the teams Katie what do you think was said half time I think Swansea really need to start on the front foot if they're going to get back into this game they've created lots of chances they need to be more clinical need to have more urgency about them and just that better quality in that final third I think Wrexham just continue what they're doing continue to play on the counter attack and stay resolute and no nonsense defending free kick awarded to Swansea in the opening seconds Chavez again goes from distance and this time she strikes the bar so unfortunate and the header following up is over the bar well what vision from Chloe Chivers that is great quality from Chloe Chivers there the keeper is absolutely beaten she just shows what a technician she is to get the ball, the ball over that wall unlucky to hit the bar there that should give Swansea a little bit of confidence like I said they needed to start on the front foot and that's exactly what they've done and it's the second time that Swansea City have struck the bar remember they lost the services of Golden Boot winner Stacey John Davis towards the end of that first half a nasty looking dislocation of the shoulder but she struck the post early in the first half foul awarded to Wrexham and their first yellow card of the evening is shown to Hancocks Sophie Hancocks great play again from the captain bringing the ball out with defence showing her strength and ability on the ball well it's been an exciting first two minutes start to the second half for Katie with Chloe Trivers striking the bar a first yellow card free kick to Wrexham an opportunity for them this is Hughes Hughes almost threw on goal this time she was onside her first touch perhaps letting her down that end-to-end -end exciting play Mike this is exactly what we want to see well, Rosie Hughes in behind the Swans defence free, free kick from Dora yeah, I think she went for the shot at goal rather than the, the control yeah yeah it almost caught in two minds whether to bring it down or try and strike it first time which is a difficult thing to do when the ball's coming over the top of you ball for Swansea plays it forward ball is loose Hosford strong in the tackle the Swansea captain really competitive in the middle of the field there was a pull there I thought by Hosford but play continues ball with Swansea Alicia Powell Finch oh, quick feet lovely skill by ball Pinder, Pinder, out towards the right-hand side, ball, it's, but the ball had crossed the goal line, goal kick to Wrexham, thought for a minute there, Chloe Chivers had got to it. That was unlucky there, lucky play, great movement again from Pinder, she drops back into the space to pick the ball up, looking to play Chloe Chivers in, but the ball had just run out of play, but better from Swansea, better composure, better quality on the ball. Wasn't that a super piece of skill by Chloe Bull just in front of us here in the commentary box? Great play from Chloe Bull. We haven't seen enough of it though, have we? Like to see her get on the ball more and show the quality that she has with the ball at her feet. Alicia Powell, determined run by Powell, feeding Pinder, but this time Pinder is caught offside. She shakes her head. Referee's assistant. Immediately up with the flag. But that's encouraging play from Swansea again. Finding the spaces. Is that that, offside? I don't think that's offside. She's really timed her run there. There's no wonder she's shaking her head. Wrexham got away with one there. Long ball forward. Powell calls for the header. Phoebe Davis very very strong as she goes in again oh, no holding back there between Finch and Phoebe Davis 
ground very very slippery following the rain that started to fall around kickoff time but as uh, Katie said that super conditions to play football Wrexham player down possession with the Swans Hosford screaming for the ball and she gets it cuts inside opportunity here Hosford ball is deflected kindly force Wrexham and they're able to clear Great chance again for Katie Hoss for good numbers in the box. Back defending for Wrexham. But Wrexham are actually defending really narrow. And that will open up perfectly for Hosford to get in behind. Just got to be aware, checking their shoulder, making sure that they're covering. And they keep that same organisation that they had in the first half. Thumbs up there from the uh, Wrexham physio. It's Amber Lightfoot who's... Uh, receiving treatment well six and a half minutes played in the second half for uh, Katie but a brighter start from Swansea yep I think Kerry Phillips might have had a few words at half time wanting more and expecting more from his team FAW president on the left Williams here supporting the women's game which has come on leaps and bounds it must be said with the establishment of the Janeiro National League and the new tier system as well Jones clears up to the feet of Hughes Hughes under pressure from Powell important tackle by Powell but Lovett is in and the foul again by Chivers on uh, on Lovett looking to play it long into the left wing position where Amber Lightfoot has recovered from her injury but uh, the ball was slips under her foot and a throw in for Swansea far side Lily Jones strong midfield player sitting 17 years of age looking to collect the pass but she gets her foot in and it's out to the score of Pritchard Pritchard with Phoebe Davis in support she goes herself Finch asks for the free kick and the free kick is awarded against Pritchard for the foul we're being informed that uh, the Stacey John Davis injury is was caused by the ground rather than the fencing because she crashed to the floor and then bounced into the uh, advertising hoardings behind the goal which we discussed as being well we thought that they were quite close to the goal line but that's what we're being told that the injury she sustained sustained by the ground rather than the hoardings and the fence back on play Hossford captain of Swansea City cuts inside looking to change the angle of attack and the ball deflects kindly off Lovett into the grateful hands of uh, Delith Morgan. They're going for that quite ambitious ball, aren't they? Yeah, they're looking to switch the ball from side to side, but it's not always on with the quality, and then they'll just give him possession straight back to Wrexham. Yeah, week tonight, you saw the trailer there, the long-anticipated Rugby World Cup Pool C match between Wales and Australia. That'll be live on S4C with an 8pm kickoff. And of course, uh, if you haven't heard, Fiji beat Australia 22 15 in a dramatic game this evening, or this afternoon, I should say. A big win for Fiji. And problems for Eddie Jones. But here come Wrexham. Wrexham looking to double their lead. This is Lily Jones. Jones plays the ball through to Hughes. Hughes scores and doubles Wrexham's lead. What a super move! But let's give credit to the young midfielder, Lily Jones, only 17 years of age. Broke through from midfield, kept her head, squared the pass, and Hughes did the rest. Hughes, a first league 
goal in the Janeiro Adran Premier. We played 55 minutes at the Rock. It's Wrexham 2, Swansea 0. And that is composed quality play from Lily Jo. She pinches the ball in midfield, drives forward with her athletic ability. She looks up, sees that Rosie Hughes is in acres of space, and it's an easy tap in into the back of the net. We talk pre-game about her power, how she drives the team forward. That is great quality play. Rosie Hughes won't score an easier goal this season. Well, it's a super composed finish by the centre forward, beating Claire Skinner. And her face tells you all, all you need to know about what that means to Rosie Hughes. Top scorer last season, 41 in all competitions. But let's not let's give credit to Lily Jones. Strong in the tackle, carried well, passed intelligently, finished fantastically. It's Wrexham two, Swansea nil. Swansea has to have to respond now. How do they get back into this game? Well, we talked before about the first goal being important and how perhaps if Swansea got it, it might be one-way traffic. Well, now we've really got a game on here now, and. Swansea, last year's runners-up. They've won this Janeiro Adran Premier on three occasions. And the yellow card here for Phoebe Davis, the tackle from behind on Pinder. And things hotting up. Yeah, I think this game is going to have a bit more bite to it now. Swansea need to find a way to get back into the game. Wrexham, they just got to stay organised. they got to stay aggressive. And really limit any space the Swansea have because they're going to have to push players forward. They're going to have to commit more players. Must be so frustrating for the Swansea players. Hit the bar twice. Williams again going from distance. Well, I don't know. They, they seem to have got this tactic of Delif Morgan has got to be off the line. That's what's going through their minds. They've been told Delif Morgan is a goalkeeper who likes to drift off her line because that must be the fourth, if not the fifth, opportunity that they've had to knock the ball into a dangerous position and they've just gone to lob the keeper. It's got to be a spectacular effort to beat Delif Morgan from that distance. It's a wasted opportunity. I agree, Katie. When you have the players on the field who are so comfortable with the ball at their feet, like Robin Pinder, like Chloe Bill, like Katie Hosford. Why are you not playing that ball short there, dragging Wrexham out? That is too easy. That's not going to get you back into the game. And we saw that Chloe Chivers has the ability and the quality to do it. I'm not sure about others in the side, but this is Bull. Bull round the corner, out towards the right-hand side. Chivers. It's collected by Hancock. Hancock's on an, a yellow card, being tracked by Lily Jones. Ball stays in play. Lovett scrambles back. Morgan clears low. It's into the feet of Lily Jones. She's looking to release Rosie Hughes once again. Hughes against Williams. Hughes waiting for support. She turns Williams and crosses dangerously in Pritchard and it's three but unfortunately they will be frustrated Wrexham by a flag the linesman flag is up and it's against Rebecca Pritchard but what a super move down the left hand side lovely cross by Hughes finished again with a plum by Pritchard but Wrexham players supporters frustrated I'd like to see that again to see, I, I don't think she was offside. Rosie Hughes again does so well. She holds the ball up, keeps the ball alive to keep. Substitute for Swansea, Neve Jenkins is off and Sammy Wynn is on, a new signing from Oxford United. An immediate reaction from uh, Kerry Phillips. You can see great play from Ro Rosie Hughes. Great finish from Rebecca Pritchard. And this is Hughes again. In quickly, Bull. Ball play forward to Hosford. Hosford, Pinder and Chivers waiting in the middle. Hosford, the captain, going herself, looking for an opportunity to cross. 
but that's super play by Karen Allen. Allen defends well, tries not to give away the corner, and it'll be a throw to Swansea City in the left wing position. Ball. The bag of tricks, Chloe Ball to Finch. Finch crosses well, but it headed clear by the uh, Wrexham defence. And the long ball out of defence, and it's a race between Hughes and Williams. Hughes is in again! And this time she drags her shot wide. It was a great opportunity. I think she might have been in two minds there, whether to go for the power of shot or to lob the keeper, Skinner. Another great opportunity for Wrexham. No nonsense defend defending. Get the ball up the field as quick as you can, because you know Rosie Hughes will be waiting. She just didn't connect with the ball properly to cause any problems there for Skinner. Yeah, I think she might have been able to take that shot a little bit earlier and to look to lob Skinner, because Skinner had come off her line. Allen. Allen splits the defence effectively into Pritchard, Hughes waiting in the middle, here comes the cross, this time it's too close to Skinner. But if anything, we were looking for a reaction, um, Katie, after that second goal, and the reaction has come because Wrexham have been lifted, and they look to be more dangerous now than at any other time in the game. They are, they are the ones who are putting pressure on Swansea. Swansea are really struggling, they look disjointed. They look disorganised. That is far too easy for Wrexham to get in behind on two occasions there, three occasions. And further problems here for Swansea City. Chloe Chivers receiving treatment. It's cramp, I think, rather than an injury. But having lost Stacey John Davis to a serious dislocation of the shoulder in the first half, they can't afford to lose Chloe Chivers. We talked pre-game about the attack and threat that Swansea have and I think we have to give mention to the attack and threat that we've seen from Wrexham with Hughes, Lightfoot, um, Pritchard. No, it's, been, it was, it's been a super game. Second half has just flown by, 62 minutes played. Wrexham to Swansea City, nil. Goals by Pritchard and Rosie Hughes. Both accomplished finishes by the two strikers this time Swansea clear oh there's an opportunity to play Chivers in but Chivers is in trouble here she's either done a calf or she just can't run off the cramp and it's frustrating for Chloe Chivers she's had so many problems with knee injuries a dislocated knee followed by an ACL injury she's one of the most gifted players in the Gennaro League, she refuses to come off, she's saying no I'm not coming off I don't think she's going to have much of a choice to be honest and it'll be Cara Jones who's preparing to come on wearing 12 for Wrexham And Amber, Light, Amber Lightfoot, who's receiving treatment for the second time during the game. And she leaves the field and she will re be replaced by Cara Jones. Well, what cards has Kerry Phillips left to play? Katie here, if you were in his shoes, what would you do to get Swans back in the game? I think they just need to show more composure on the ball. They have the quality in this team to score goals. They have Robin Pinder, Katie Hosford, Chloe Bull, Chloe Chivers. They have quality on the pitch, they're just not connecting, they look disjointed. Ball played long uh, by Wrexham in to the right left back channel. But it'll run out for a goal kick. There's still plenty of time to get back into this game. In your picture, Hannah Kerry Acopolis 
one of the star signings for Wrexham in the close season. The ball is played back and this will be a super start if they hang on to this lead. Oh, a mistake by Morgan. Oh, what an opportunity for Robin Pinder, played in by Chloe Bull. And I don't know whether Delith Morgan was injured there in the clear in the original clearance, but what an opportunity for Pinder. I don't know if she was offside or not. I think she thought she was offside because she looked at the linesman just to check. And it's now Delith Morgan receiving a, a treatment. Charlotte Bolland is the goalkeeping substitute who's joined from Tranmere Rovers in the close season, but Pinder, who's on for Sophie John Davis, Stacey John Davis, sorry. Well, we're nearly halfway through the second half, uh, uh, Katie, and I think Wrexham have shocked almost everyone here at the ground, including myself Inclu and yourself. Including myself, you know, we knew this was going to be a tough game for them coming in. Um, but they are sending a message out to the league that they are, you know, a team that need to be taken seriously. They might have just a newly promoted team, um, but they have threats all over the field. They've shown what they can do defensively. They've shown that they have two great players in midfield in Lily Jones and Gibbard, um, and also the threat going forward in Pritchard and Rosie Hughes. You know, to be 2-0 up against Swansea, you have to applaud them. Well, confirmation in the replay there. I don't think um, Pinder was offside. The header was down to, from Bull into her path and she failed to take a, what was a very, very good opportunity. And it's Bull again down the right-hand side looking for Hosford, who's moved over to the uh, right-hand side. Chloe Bull, so much potential. Super silky skills. But as Katie said, we haven't really seen enough of it on the ball. This is Williams. Williams trying to dribble away forward. It's with Williams again. Swansea going back in order to go forward. Finch. Oh, that's a loose pass by the left back. Lucy Finch. talked about what cards perhaps Kerry Phillips had left to play and there are two substitutes preparing to come on. It'd be interesting to see if uh, Chloe Chivers has to give in here because losing Chivers to injury plus Stacey John Davis, that would be a really bad afternoon for Swansea all round. And you're looking around the, the pitch and who is the, who is the Swansea player who's telling this team, come on, we're still in it? Who's encouraging them? Who's the leader on the field? Because at the moment they look... They look beaten, and there's still plenty of time to get back into this game. Sammy win. Win. Good play by Hosford. Turning the defender. Hosford plays it forward into the feet of Pinder. Ball played back, and an important tackle. Edge of the box again by Wrexham. They really have defended well. Their transition then to get back behind the ball, get back in numbers. Lake, Lake is clear, Lake can cross towards the far post, again it strikes the bar and reaches the feet of Chivers, Chivers whacks it across the box and goodness me, it's like a pinball and it's out for a corner and an opportunity for, for some more Swansea substitutions. Again saved by the crossbar there, delivery by Ellie Lake for Chloe Chivers, she keeps the ball alive, great ball into the box and again great defending from Wrexham. Well, Finch leaves the field and it's Steph Turner, the former Cardiff Met skipper, who takes her place and Hancocks is also off and she will be replaced by Moni Legal. So substitutions played by Kerry Phillips. Is there a way back for Swansea City? 20 minutes left, they have a corner. Ball played in low and it's cleared 
at the near post, but Hosford, the captain, will have another opportunity. So Legal and Steph Turner make their bow. The new season ball play towards the back post, and the ball is cleared over the bar by a Wrexham defender. And it's Doran who clears. Hosford again in towards the near post. Ball is half cleared. Legal, first touch. Wide to her skipper. Hosford, but that's too far. And Phoebe Davis watches the ball carefully over the goal line. Great defending again. And I think that's been the difference. Wrexham have put their body on the line. They've been so organised. And that's it's... Doran again. Do you remember the first half? Right at the beginning, uh, Katie, she cleared off the line from from Davis's header down. I think Doran and Allen have been superb. Absolutely superb for Wrexham. Well, we've had a bit of everything in this game. We've now got a flat football. And Delith Morgan. Takes the opportunity to have a good look at the new ball. Very professional, Delith Morgan. You wait for a license holder, under 19 goalkeeping coach. But back comes Swansea, and this is Lake. Lake with Chivers hobbling on one leg. Determined to stay on. Lake crosses low, but it's far too close to Delith Morgan, and she can take those all day. Yeah, really comfortable there for Morgan. Again, she can take her time now, using her experience. Long clearance downfield, the willing runner, Rosie Hughes, pressure on the Swansea defenders, making them concede the throw. And an opportunity for Wrexham to make an important substitution and coming on will be Hannah Kerrier Coplis the new signing from Derby County 20 caps for Wales and three goals and it's Mari Gibbard who will be leaving the field and she's put a really good shift in Mari Gibbard the creator of that first goal but a lot is expected of this lady Hannah Keriakopoulos. Yep, she's a great signing for Wrexham in the transfer window. She is a goal scorer. She's aggressive. She'll have bite to her game. Um, and it's great to see her back on the field. I know she's been struggling with an injury. So it's great to, to get her on the, on the pitch and get some minutes under her belt. The first touch was bad either, setting up her colleague, Skinner. Ball played forward into the feet of Chivers. Chivers waiting for Lake to overlap. Chivers again closed down by Phoebe Davis. Ball again cleared by uh, the Wrexham defence, but one back by Swansea. But Wrexham really only have to look long here and playing it into the corners as we approach the last 15 minutes. You can see Ellie Lake is now pushing further up the field. Mane has come on as well. They're really trying to stretch Wrexham. And just they've got their three at the back to try and keep Rosie Hughes quiet. They really need to try and overload Wrexham now and trying to get back in this game. Pow, out to Lake. Lake who switched to the left-hand side. Looking to cross dangerously. She does so. It's spilt. Opportunity and goal. It's a goal for Swansea City. Wrexham have conceded. Delith Morgan will look back. I think it's Pinder who got the last touch. Created by Lake down the left-hand side. Morgan looks to be injured. But Swansea City are back in the game. 75 minutes played. Wrexham 2, Swansea 1. And that tactical change of Ellie Lake pushing further up the field. 1v1 against Phoebe Davis. Pushed the ball into the box. And Pinder, she's there just to... Punch the ball home into the back of the net. Game on. Well, to be fair to K. 
Kerry Phillips. He's played a lot of cards there. But Ellie Lake switched from right back to left back. She's created the goal. Pinned her on for Stacey John Davis. Scores her first goal for Swansea City following her move from Cardiff Met. And for the first time, there looked a little bit of indecision and a first mistake, really, by Delith Morgan. And it's a simple finish in the end for Robin Pinder, unmarked in the box. And that's the first time, really, we've seen Wrexham not be organised, not be close to their markers. And it's Charlotte Bolland, 22 years of age, a new signing from Tranmere Rovers. You can do it, see her doing her stretches there. But she may well be required in this last 15 minutes. It looks as if Delith Morgan, evening is over. She really looks like she's struggling. I think she might have done a calf muscle, you know. There was a ball played back to her a little bit earlier on. And she tried to clear, and she held the back of her calf. Just to remind you about the cycling. Later tonight, all the excitement and highlights of stage 21 of the Vuelta a España on S4C at 9 o'clock. It's given both teams now an opportunity just to regroup after this goal. Wrexham have worked so hard in this game, they've been so organised. Well, I must admit, Swansea City will look back. They've hit the bar three times. They have been unfortunate. They've lost their star striker, but they found a way back into the game. And now it looks as if Wrexham are going to have to lose the services of their star goalkeeper, Delith Morgan. And it'll be Charlotte Bolland to take her place. It's not a substitute you want to make, is it, just after no. you conceded? No. So have to change your goalkeeper. It can unsettle the team. Final instructions from the goalkeeping coach. Oh, and Delith Morgan, it looks as if this could be a long-term injury as well. If it's a calf muscle injury, it's a few weeks out for Delith Morgan. And such an unfortunate start for two influential players, Stacey John Davis of Swansea and now Dallas Morgan. Yeah, and both the leaders, both experienced players. Unfortunate, the first game of the season that they're having to come off due to injury. It's not what you want to see, but this ha this happens. It's how you adapt in the game. Well, Charlotte Bolland takes her place between the sticks. Physiotherapist supports Delith Morgan. Bolland, as I said, having made the move to Wrexham from Tranmere Rovers. Now we're in for an exciting finish here at the Rock, home of Wrexham AFC women. Williams out to the right hand side. Opportunity for Swansea to knock this long down the channel, but they play it short. Clever play, this is Bull, but there was a late tackle in midfield. Oh, and I think the hands were up there, and Lily Jones has reacted. Oh, it's not Kerry Acopolis has reacted. Hosford didn't like that tackle. Well, I said Hannah had a little bit of bite to her game. <laughs> you did, did, did. I didn't expect that. I, I didn't admit. expect that either. Not quite so soon. Well, Hannah Kerry Acopolis, 29 years of age, moved to direction from Derby County former Liverpool Academy she played for Liverpool in the WSL and uh, Aaron Wynne Jones has to stamp his authority here and come between the ladies originally it was a late tackle by Hannah <laughs> Katie Hosford she didn't like it you can't Stupid argue that's, that's a late tackle was a late tackle by Kerry Acopolis. She doesn't agree, but it's a yellow card for the new signing, Kerry Acopolis, and a response from Katie Hosford, captain of Swansea. You can see what it means to the women of both sides here. Yellow for Kerry Acopolis and also for Hosford. Ten minutes left. Ball played in. 
not cleared on the first attempt by Wrexham. Pinder into the feet of Lake, but Lake was offside, straight into the offside position, but she's looked good down that left-hand side. She's switched from the right to the left-hand side. It's been a, cle a clever move by Kerry Phillips. Yeah, and I think, you know, looking at the first half, I would really like to see Lake make more overlapping runs because she had the opportunity, she had the width to do it. So seeing her further up the field now in this change, it seems to be working for Swansea. Wrexham will be looking to run this clock down. Ten minutes left. Ball played long. Powell waits for it. Ball helps it on to Ellie Lake. Chiver still on the field towards Pinder. Williams out to the right-hand side. Opportunity to cross in towards the near post. There's Pinder there again. Wrexham find themselves under su some sustained pressure now. The only leaving Rosie Hughes. Everyone else is behind the ball. There's a shelter on the far side for a foul on Lovett. And it's awarded by Aaron Wynne Jones. Monilegal is now going to play on the right hand side of the attack for Swansea City. Steph Turner in the middle, partner for Alicia Powell. Ellie Lake on the left hand side, Williams on the right, and it's a race, a foot race here between Kerry Acopolis and Williams. Kerry Acopolis wants the corner. Good defence in there from Williams, just shielding the ball out of play, using her body. To guide the ball out. Steph Turner is available on this left hand side. Here's Turner. Chivers. I thought she was going to be forced off, but she sold it on. She still doesn't look comfortable though, does she? You're right. This is ball, a little bit of space in front of her, and she looks to spread it out to Ellie Lake. Lake, creator of that first goal for Swansea City, a little bit of a step over, shows and goes, and then crosses dangerously, Pinder, got a little touch to it, Wrexham clear, but all Swansea's joys coming down this left-hand side. And she's in so much space, Ellie Lake, she's screaming for the ball because you know she has the space to drive into and deliver an early ball into the box. In it goes towards Bull, Chivers, Chivers shoots, and Chivers scores! Equalises for Swansea City. It's an absolutely brilliant right foot shot by Chloe Chivers. It flew past the substitute keeper, Bolland. And with less than seven minutes left, it's Wrexham 2, Swansea 2. And that is an absolute thunderbolt from Chloe Chivers. That why she, that's why she wanted to stay on the pitch, because she knows that she can deliver and she can score goals like that. Great finish. Keeper had absolute no chance. She's just lingering there, edge of the box. Control shoots right foot. Bolland got a touch, but it flew past her. I think that's a yellow card for Pinder as we were watching the, the replay there. Katie, I don't know if you saw that. But it's a late tackle on Phoebe Davis, maybe? Yeah, Pinder, she's just trying to stop the ball from being built from the back. But yeah, it's a late tackle from behind. It's a yellow card. But this game is spicing up. Has an extra edge to it now, I think. Well, it's been a super entertainment here at The Rock this afternoon with Swansea. 1-0 up at half-time, doubling their lead through Rosie Hughes, and then Swansea fighting their way back, showing their character with goals by Pinder, and then that super effort by Chloe Chivers. Let's go, let's go. 
Swan, Swansea have always had that winning mentality. They are a team of winners and they've just shown their resilience getting back into this game. Well, Swansea coaching staff encouraging Chivers to get on the ball. I think Chivers and Bull are their likely match winners here. And can we have a winner in what has been a super opening weekend to the Gennaro Adran Premier? A little bit of a push there by Rosie Hughes, but it will be a corner. I think Swansea wanted a free kick there. Yeah, I think Powell felt a nudge in the back, didn't she, from Rosie Hughes, looking for the free kick. Raph obviously didn't think there was much in it. And there's another opportunity for Wrexham to put pressure on Swansea. Less than five minutes to play at the end of a really exciting opening encounter here between Wrexham and Swansea. Remember, both teams have gone semi-pro along with Cardiff City. And it'll be Lily Jones, the driving force in midfield, creator of the second goal for Wrexham. Curls this in, but there's a player down on the edge of the box for Swansea. Let me see what happened there. I had my eyes on Lily Jones. I think something off the ball. Yeah. Steph Turner there. Oof. I think both players there. Doran and Turner just trying to find a yard of space. Just showing their desire in defence and in attack. Curled in again there, towards the near post. Again, both players have gone to ground. The linesman is on this side of the field. Don't know. Karen Allen jogging back into position. Ball with Wrexham. Opportunity to cross. Pritchard. Pritchard can shoot. Into Hughes. Can she turn? And then finish by Hannah Kenikopoulos. And she's won the game surely here for Wrexham. Swansea City failed to clear and pay the ultimate price. Pritchard and Hughes create the opportunity for substitute Hannah Keriakopoulos and she slips that ball underneath Claire Skinner and would you believe it it's Wrexham 3 Swansea City 2 that I think I was watching that in slow motion then the ball comes in I almost thought Rosie Hughes had lost the opportunity when the ball comes into her I thought shoot she took an extra touch finds Hannah and that is a calm finish again to go past Skinner. And you know what? I'm afraid to say it, but it's Chloe Chivers who loses the ball on the edge of the box. I'm not sure if it is tiredness or maybe the injury she's carrying, but she's just lost possession on the edge of the box there. And goodness me, look at the way that Wrexham players celebrate. Hannah Kerikop... Kerik we used to call her Ke Hannah Kay, if that helps, Hannah, Mike. We'll call her Hannah Kay. <laughs> Hannah Keriakopoulos, I do apologise, super finish by her. And again, it's, it's Rosie Hughes who's holding the ball up and, and finding players. Oh, it's a red card. A red card is shown and Ellie Lake has responded as well. It's the late tackle on Pritchard. Well, drama upon drama here at the Rock. Ellie Lake late on Rebecca Pritchard and afters as well. Yeah, the ball gets away from her, doesn't it? And she kicks out once the ball is gone. It's frustration. It's not what we want to see in the game. Emotions are high. It's a red card. It's disappointed because she has had a great game, Ellie Lake. Well, we've had everything in this game, Katie, and now we've got the red card as well. Five goals, red card. Wrexham's first appearance back in the National League since 2015. Wrexham three, Swansea City two. We await the board which shows 11 minutes. Wow! Oh, my word! Where did that come from? 
11 minutes to play. Well, I know we've seen a lot of numbers. I've got a funny <laughs> feeling the drama isn't over yet. There's gonna... more to come. And I thought, well, I suppose, yes, we have seen, you know, a number of players have been receiving treatment in this second half. And you add the goals and the substitutions to it, and it all adds up. Back to Bolland. Bolland clears. It's Pinder who's there for Swansea. Remember, the Swans are down to ten players. Turner. Into the feet of Pinder. Quick feet by Pinder. Runs into Carrier Coppolis. And Allen. Ball played wide and early by Swansea to Williams. Williams cuts inside. Opportunity here for Jess Williams. He slides in. Ball with ball. Ball goes from distance. A little bit too ambitious, perhaps, from Chloe Bull. Yeah, it was a tired effort, wasn't it, from Chloe Bull? She knows that she has that in her locker, but just didn't execute it. This is where you now, you need your leaders to calm the ship, get some composure, and just concentrate on the game. And it's another yellow card shown by Aaron Wynne-Jones. And it's to Luisa Doran for time-wasting. Wrexham lead, 3-2. Cara Jones sees the ball out throw in to Swansea is there another twist in this most dramatic of games an opening encounter in the Gennaro Adram Premier Cardiff City last year's champions have won today at Cardiff Met by three goals to one TNS have won by three goals to one at Pontypridd. Aberystwyth win 3-0 at home to Barry Town this is the final of the opening weekend fixtures and what a dramatic afternoon it's been Lovely skill by Bull. And to be fair to the players, they've been going down with cramp, but they, they're really, they look really fit and ready for this new season, Katie. Well, I said prior to this game, I think this will be the most open season that we've had. There's been lots of movements in the transfer window, and this first game just shows, you know, anyone can be anyone on their day. I think we're in for a really exciting season ahead. Swansea looking to shoot, oh, it's deflected, and in! Oh, my word, the ten players of Swansea City uh, have equalised again, and it's Katie Hosford. Hosford, the captain, shoots from distance, a cruel deflection, and the ball flew past Bolland in the goal, and it's 3 all. What a cruel deflection for Wrexham, but what luck for Swansea. Katie Hosford, she keeps the ball alive, it's a tired strike, but a deflection takes it past the goalkeeper and Swansea are back in the game. And with 11 minutes of added time played as, playing as well, we in the fourth minute of the 11 that have played, we could still have a dramatic winner here. Remember, the Swansea City players are down to 10 with Ellie Lake sent off. Free kick awarded to Wrexham. I told you the drama wasn't over. But this is what Katie Hosford does. She likes to shoot from distance. It's such a cruel deflection to take the ball past the goalkeeper. And you can see what it means to the captain. Getting her team back in the game. Ball played long, looking for the pace of Rosie Hughes. Cara Jones into Hughes. Jones has continued her run across. Comes Williams, I think. And now she's gone to ground. I don't think I've seen so much cramp in one game of football. Well, certainly value for money for the 600-plus crowd here at The Rock. And a great advert for 
the women's game in Wales. Ball played forward, Lily Jones looking for a pass. There's a Wrexham player down in the Swansea City half. Square passes on to Rosie Hughes. Hughes has it. There's a tackle from behind and an opportunity by Cara Jones. Looking to lob goalkeeper Skinner, but I think the free kick had been awarded prior to that. Leaving the feed, Kerry Copless, scorer of Wrexham's third goal. And goodness me, she's in pain here. That's that knee injury that she was talking about prior to the game. She is really struggling and she needs some treatment over there. So both teams down to 10 players as we enter the last five minutes of added time. <laughs> Bolland calls and Bolland collects. Dramatic introduction for Bolland. Only came on for the last quarter of an hour, has conceded twice. Ball played forward again. They look for the pace of Hughes. Turner forward. Pinder holds it up. Pinder does well. Plays the ball wide. Is asking a lot of Mone Legal. You can see both teams now. They don't want to give an inch. They're both just trying to play the ball over the top and turn defenders. Hannah is back on the field, which is great to see. Wrexham three, Swansea three. Swansea down to ten players. Wrexham have possession. They're looking for the defence splitting pass, but Turner is there. Four minutes left. Of added time, ball played forward towards Pinder. The head injury for a Swansea player. Wrexham supporters not particularly sympathetic. And it's captain Katie Hosford who's down. And she will need treatment. Yeah, you can see Hannah. Katie both going for the ball both eyes are on the ball there's no malice in that it's just a clash or an elbow to the head you have to be so careful with head injuries you have to stop the game and get someone on as soon as you can Kath Morgan star player is Karen Allen the Wrexham central defender and she has had an outstanding game despite the team conceding three. Oh, I totally agree. She's really led the game, led her team. She's put her head, her body on the line. Really organised at the back and really driven the, the, her team forward. She's been, she will be a great addition for this team and for the league. Wrexham still pushing for that winner. Lily Jones on towards Pritchard. Skinner had to be quick. Skinner caught Pritchard there. But Pritchard looks to be back on her feet. Skinner did well. Now it's Swansea's turn to attack. Remember, down to ten players. Jess Williams strikes it out to Legal. That was a bit it was difficult for her to control that one. Back come Rexup. Pinder out to Legal. Forward it goes, but there's nobody there in a white shirt. The most, one of the most dramatic games I've commented on here at the Rock. Fantastic advert for women's football in Wales. Wrexham 3, Swansea 3. Ball played forward, Turner. But Bolland collects the former Tranmere Rovers player. Releases early. Oh, crunching tackle by Chloe Bull. In strongly, right in front of our commentary box. Shivers 
Chivers, that's an excellent ball. Bolland has lost it. Edge of the box. Wrexham, oh, almost concede a fourth. Oh, goodness me. Right foot to the very end. The drama is still here. Great opportunity again. And Kerry Allen, she is the first, first thing she's done wrong all evening. Chivers looking to change the direction of play. Played forward by Wrexham to Hughes. Hughes has done well to get the ball to Cara Jones. Seconds left of this dramatic encounter on the opening weekend of the Gennaro Adram Premier. All eyes on Aaron Wynne Jones, our referee. We played the 11 minutes allocated. Over the 90. Perhaps a fair result, all in all, considering the opportunities that Swansea have had. They've hit the bar three times, but is there another dramatic end, a twist in this tale of this game? This is Chivers. Chivers to Bull. Bull to Chivers. Chivers shoots, but her shot is blocked. Kerry Acopolis is in, but... There is the final whistle. A dramatic end to a dramatic game here at The Rock. Fantastic advert for Welsh women's football. Wrexham led by two goals to nil. Swansea fought their way back. They then went ahead, Wrexham, before Swansea equalised and lost a lady. Final score, Wrexham three, Swansea three. Well, Steve, three goals apiece. How is that for an introduction to the top flight? I think you can tell by the reaction we're gutted. You know, we, uh, we, you know, I feel we've dropped points there in terms of the result at the end. But before the game, you know, we wanted a positive result. You'll take the, you'll take the draw at any, any stage against a good Swansea side. But I thought we were outstanding today. You know, good, good introduction to the league. I mean, you've hardly had a chance to catch your breath yet, in fairness. But what will you be saying to the girls now once you get in that dressing room? I think we can take a lot of positives from it. I think, you know, we've... We've, we've, you know, matched the team that are going to be right up there this season and, you know, we've got to take the pride, the pride out of that. Steve, it's been a pleasure to be here this afternoon. Diolch yn iawn. Croeso, diolch. Well, am drama fan hyn ar y graig. Mae Gwenna'n Harris, Dydd Lawr i Gad yn Cwmni fi. Gwenna'n ma fan anodd ffyndo gyrra i ddisgrifio byn. Ni'n mynd i weld pump gol yn yr ail hanner. Ni'n mynd i gael cipolwg ar y goliau i gyd nawr. Gan ddechrau gyda i'n Robin... Oh, that, sorry, i'n Wrexham. <laughs> Yeah, Rosie Hughes, just only really, really impressed with that. Falls and Lily Jones, uh, Cameron Tanan. The great busy now, I'm looking at a lot of goal. And I'm Ford, who, who can come in the yard and I'm the funnel. He's there. On the right, you're going to be on the solar board and, and a man go with Edmund uh, Mantisha. I'm going to go with the Technic Campus and uh, Chloe Chivers. Oh, I don't need metal, but what Rex and T. Kip you're here. Um, Hannah, uh, Hannah Kay and, and Donald Strauss, a pasta and Rosie Hughes. I went in, Charles Nain Bach. Ar all as na chapter all the story even hen gonna Katie Hoss with us to the minute girl judge with many score on so it's the drama um have really got goal any mind goals three three are them zero zero on yeah I'm game I got the other lead gang right his eye team I can a specific ear gang right have it going on so to my bath game any mini girl to get a little more my mini board and dip in or the more a team sick here at long yet and we credit him on a lot of path it got a thy team question no I'll keep mini calling and where they got decorate to more right path in question on that system and question on right path they wish you are not on only only in half your fight for a thy team a minimum Danny are a duet near mine settle on point man and dangle slot around a rag with Adam Rothy had to get a new asset when he got to the tournament. Just in like when I know Bram Bitty to go out or Rexham, he has no bet in the tournament. And sick here, where does he have him so wet? I thought he really impressed with him. The fun or the thy and a can or to run Ellen and Alan or no thy young captain. Um, I only impressed with him. The fun or void guard and agony disco and he go about and I'm a sort of a new grievance. Gwenna'n 